Hey people, welcome back to a brand new edition of Delta's Rant. Nick's Rant. Well, still called Delta's Rant. This rant's going to be about the PlayStation 4. I like the console. I like the games. I like everything about it. But the more and more I think about it, after these five games, these five right here, I believe I can get all five of them, not Wolfenstein, but anyway. These five right here, my hard drive is half full already by five games. Do you know how many Xbox games I have? At least 40. I have 40. Not a single one's downloaded. Now, here's where my problem is. I have 200 gigs of hard drive left, using up 200. By the way, their math sucks. This is a 500 gig system. You're using 400. So, uh, I'm, I'm just riled up about this. I was trying to take a nap. <laughs> but the more I read into this, they're, they're not supporting external hard drives. Okay, there might be some people out there like, well, what does that matter? You know, I'll just use an internal hard drive. Well, I'm not that tech savvy. And I'm not going to attempt to try and put in a brand new one when I don't know how to do it. I don't want to screw something up in my console where I can't play it anymore. So I have to just deal with it. Now, it makes sense that maybe down the line they'll do it because right now they don't have, ouch, they don't have a lot of good games right now. Sorry, I banged my elbow, or my arm right here. No, this is my elbow, this is my elbow. Anyway, they have not many games out right now. Not many at all. And down the line, they're going to have a lot of games. Look at their, look at all their stuff right now. There's a lot of games. And the PS4 gets that many. You can't buy them all. You can't play more than 10 or 15 on your, on your hard drive. So it's obvious that down the line, they're going to support it for people who can't, or who aren't tech savvy like myself and get a hard, like a terabyte two terabyte hard drive they're not they're not hugely expensive like the disk drives those are expensive they're like a teradrive a terabyte one's like 150 for something that would work for a PlayStation 4 and for a 2 gig ter uh, 2 gig 2 terabyte external hard drives like 100 150 dollars you know what would you rather do have to pay 150 200 for a 1 gig or 100 for a 2 gig which all you have to do is plug it in a USB port I want to do that why it's easier on me and I can have more games here's where my problem is with them they don't want to do that they don't want to do external hard drives so people like me who don't know how to replace it can only get 10 to 15 games maybe more not sure because some some of the boxes lie like one of, one of the boxes says minimum 42 gigabyte or 45 gigabytes and it came up to like 30 27 to 30 i'm like okay your math is bad but that might just say for all the dlc in the future and all that stuff not sure don't care but as i was getting at here's where here's where their problem lies some people don't want to deal with having to do internal hard drives. They want to have external hard drives. So if they decide not to do it, and all these games start coming out, people are going to have to get rid of games they have, the data, everything, in order to play these brand new games. So they have to get rid of the games they've already had. So, or they have to keep it and can't play the other. Or they can't play them at all. So what would you rather do? Would you rather have to get rid of a game that you casually play to get a brand new game or would you rather be able to have an external hard drive that you can actually use and it's easier to use just plug in it formats itself and be able to have 30 40 games to be able to play at once you know a much larger selection my opinion it's better to have that I don't want to have to say get rid of Last of Us in order to play Shadow of Mordor. You know, because only have five, I have plenty of room on mine right now. It's only half full. Um, Xbox One, I had eight games and it was at like 70 something. 
that's what the other DLC stuff downloaded also. But there's the problem with this new console generation. You have so much potential in them, but you have to download 20 to 50 gigabytes of stuff in order to play the games. Now, if they bring out an update where it condenses it all to like 10, 15, maybe 20 from something that's 50, that would be great. I would never have to worry about it because it would be a very long time before I get like 30 or 40 games. So I hope in the future that Sony actually deals with this problem to where either they condense down the files to make them smaller or at least let people use the external hard drives. I want to be able to use that. You know, I wasn't a big fan of hearing that, oh yeah, if you get like 10 games, you're not going to be able to play them all because your hard drive's going to be full. There's like, I don't know, four or five games that are coming out this console generation, or this generation, this year for PS4, Xbox One that I want to get. And I have a PS4. So I'm going to be restricted if my thing runs out. And here's, here's another problem that I just remembered. If you want to do the external hard drive th or internal hard drive thing, you can't transfer your shit over. You can't take all the data, like what I have here, you can't take all that and put it on a new one. No. In order to play the games you have on this one, you have to continuously switch them out. Say this gets full, I get an internal hard drive, switch it out, and I play the new game that I got. Okay? I don't play games, when I first buy a game, I don't play it straight through. Last of Us is a perfect example. I played four or five hours at a time, maybe two or three hours at a time, sometimes. And I get to a certain point, I'm like, okay, I'm going to stop, I'm going to play something else. Now, if you have if you have the game that you're wanting to play on a different one, you have to switch it back out. That is way too tedious for me. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Just, Sony, come on. Just do it. Support external hard drives. Give us the specs we need. I don't care if it's a specific thing you have to get. Unless it's like, Oh, you have to get our products it's like $300. Screw that. No. Give us the option to get, like, if you say it has to be at least this, it has to be at least this speed and have this much gigabytes. Guarantee you, your fan base will grow even better. People will divert from Xbox One over because they have the option to use more storage. But right now, the only kind of storage I've heard about is an external hard drive that you can put movies on or music or something that you cannot put full games on because they're afraid of piracy. Come on, really? Just stop, stop, just do it. I know this video is not gonna help because I have 40 some subscribers. I'm not like Rooster Teeth or nothing or Smosh or Smoosh or whoever, what, however you pronounce their name. I can't make a difference, but if more people start talking about it, a difference can be made. You know, don't don't be that asshole in the comments that's like, well, it doesn't matter what you say, they're still going to not support it. Don't be that asshole. Make a, make a damn difference. Just, that's, that's how things happen. If they start hearing the fans out about these problems, People will listen. They will listen if you just bring it to their attention. Now, I know they probably see this all the time, but the more people talk about it, the more higher people talk about it, the better off we'll all be in getting what we need done. Now, I know this was a longer one, well, I'm five minutes, or five, nine minutes now, a little bit longer than five. So, if this problem's never fixed, and all they do is like, oh, we're just going to bring out a new console that has like two terabytes. That's fine, but am I going to go out and buy a brand new console to have more storage space? No. It'd be tempting, but it's going to be like five, six hundred dollars, and I'm not going to do that. Plus, I'm losing all my save data. So, I mean, if you can move save data over, fine. But you probably can't. If you can move all your save data over from one call one console to the next and all you have to just do is reinstall the games fine that'll be okay 
but I know a lot of people are not going to dish out a ton of money to get a brand new console to have more storage space. Anyway, enough um, enough of my talking. I hope you all enjoyed just listening to me talk. No gameplay in the background. You know, I could sit here and just do this, but y'all can't see it that well. But I hope y'all enjoyed it. I really do. I'm turning the console off right now. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Come on, let's spread the word. Get Sony's attention on this. I, I would publicly, if if they even gave me a chance, if Sony came up to me or came into an email and say, "Look, we'll fly you out to our corporate office, and we will, and we want to talk about this," I'll do it. I'll be dressed like this with my Ninja Turtle shirt and my blue athletic pants. I don't care. I just want all these situations done. I want all the problems to be gone because, yes, Xbox, the 360 started off that way to where you had, what, four gigabytes or something or one gigabyte or two gigabytes, something like that. They always start off slow within the first year or two and then they rise up and start getting better and better. So I think they'll fix it. I really do. I have faith in Sony. I have faith in Microsoft. Nintendo's doing perfectly fine right now because they, they don't have people complaining, oh, but there's not enough space. Well, that's because their game downloads are like four to seven gigabytes. Come on. My Wind Waker is four. Four gigabytes for Wind Waker. Come on. They're not, do, they're not having a problem. Sony and Microsoft need to get their shit together and get to the point where you can support get it, all kinds of support you want, any kind of hard drive you want to use as long as it meets the criteria of the system that it's working for. <sighs> I'm good. Thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon probably Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. I don't know. Later.